Hello, Sagittarius. How are you doing? It's me, Jennifer, Water and Fire Tarot. This is your love reading. This is going to be from September 19th through September 25th. 2019. Yes, I know today, tonight, right now is the 19th. I know. But give mom a break here a little bit because, well, I've had to call a water Uber myself because I'm well underwater. There's been flooding. All right. It's getting better, but it's been a fucking nightmare. So here I am getting this to you a little bit late. All right. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Love Messages. The 19th through the 25th, 2019. Like, share, subscribe if you need a private reading. All of the info is right below. And you can book it. And book it now if you wish. All right. Cards have been pre-shuffled. We are set to go. I want to see Sagittarius and their love life, please. The 19th through the 25th. I usually do love, but however this resonates for you. All right. We're going to cut it up, we're going to regroup, and we're going to have a little chat, Sagittarius, about your love life. I will clarify as well. All right, let's check it. Coming into the current moment, well, hi, big fat nine of cups, a little smugness, wish fulfillment, happiness, all that good shit. All right, what's your challenge to that nine of cups? Ooh, the two of cups in reverse. All right, what's on your mind, Sagittarius? It's the nine of wands. All right, we're checking it. Recent past, what happened? The big fat queen of swords, she happened. All right, what's the situation? Why is all this happening? The two of swords is in the foundation. This is why the reading is happening. A lot of Libra and energy, all right, with the two of swords, the queen of swords. Some of you have Libra in your chart. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? Woo, little uh, ace of swords, a lot of swords. You guys in your head? Ace of Swords, Aquarian Energy. How do you see yourself right now, Sagittarius? Well, what do you know? Another Swords card. The Knight of Swords. There's a lot of mental anxiety or a lot of like mental shit going on here. All right, in your environment, how are, how are they viewing you, your person? I, I mean, I can't even make it up. These cards have been shuffled. They really have. The King of Swords. So we have a King and a Queen of Swords in the reading. So some sort of divine partnership, but it's swords. So this could literally, this could be exes or people cutting people out. It's, I mean, one, two, three, four. We have five swords cards in here. What's in your emotions? Well, you are the Queen of Wands. Look at her. There she is. He or she, it's energy. Doesn't matter. Queen of Wands, typically Aries for me, but it can certainly be a Sagittarius or a Leo. What's the outcome? The world. Learning lessons, reaching goals, endings, new beginnings. Let's move you down, Sagittarius, so you can actually see your reading. All right, let's move you back. All right, there are a lot of people showing up in this reading. I'm just saying. All right, the overall energy, as I say that, is the Six of Wands, Leo energy. Leo and Jupiter, in fact. Somebody might be getting attention elsewhere, is in the spotlight in some way. For me, this is always the look at me, look at me, look at me card, right? It's recognition, it's, a, it's attention, but it's also success, you know? So let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading, Sagittarius, and see what's up. So this is for Sagittarius. If you are sun, moon, rising, Venus, in love. Somebody's ignoring somebody here, though. It's why everything's happening. And it could, it could be because somebody's kind of smug, right? Two cups in reverse, a breakup, a fallout. Somebody cut somebody out. Everybody's got their sword up in this reading. So with the king and the queen of swords, it's like you guys are cutting each other out. It's almost like you're mirroring each other, right? All right. Let's see what's going on. So on your mind, Sagittarius, there's your energy. The nine of wands. Nine of Wands for me is, I've been there, done that, and now I'm guarded. I am cautious, I have a little bit of stranger danger, and I'm tired, but also I will move forward, all right? That's what's on your mind. You're going to overcome something. You're tired, trying to deal with something, and you are cautious, all right? And it's because you're, you're blocking somebody out, you're ignoring somebody, or them, you, Libra and Energy. All right, we're going to check this out. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the 19th through the 25th of September in love. In love. All right, let's check it. Overall energy, what do we have? We have the Six of Wands. Why is this the overall energy? This is kind of the why, the theme. 
the chariot sign of cancer major arcana for cancer victory success a lot of victory and success that's the overall energy so whatever the hell you're doing you will reach victory here the chariot card is just moving forward right i think that somebody's gotten some attention here somebody knows what it takes to move forward and to gain success we're moving and shaking sagittarius so coming in right now we've got the nine of cups why is this here nine of cups what's this nine of cups about what is it? It's the Queen of Swords in reverse. See? Four Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. All right? So there could have been somebody else involved. I feel like there is other energy here. Sorry. Don't hate me. Love me hard. I'm just delivering the message. But the Nine of Cups coming in right now could be somebody's a little bit smug. Right? They're getting kind of some, like, satisfaction somewhere here. And it's with this Queen of Swords in reverse energy. Who is this? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. It's temperance, it's you. Major Arcana for Sagittarius. I also feel like for a lot of you coming in right now, the Nine of Cups is you probably for the majority. You guys are, it's a wish fulfillment to cut somebody out and to detach from somebody because here you are, temperance. You're finding balance, right? You're finding balance by, by detaching and cutting out the bullshit. And by doing this, you'll be able to balance your emotions and heal, right, and move forward. This is all because of the Two of Cups in reverse. This is what's influencing or the challenge. Some sort of breakup, fallout, death in reverse, major for Scorpio. There's a lack of a transformation here. There's a lack of change. It's stuck, right? Probably like some sort of soulmate shit contract that's up, right? It's a fallout here. And there's no transforming this. But I think you guys know that. Because coming in right now, you're doing what's best for you. Nine of Cups. Because on your mind, you're tired. What's this Nine of Wands on Sagittarius's mind? Why is it here? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Things just not going your way. Right? Stuck energy. And you'll be glad to know. You may be surprised. There's actually more uprights than reversals. I just took a look. You know, they're coming out the way they're coming out. They're the way that they're supposed to come out. But on your mind, you're you're tired of a lack of change. There's like a lack of forward progress. It's like a repetitive cycle that just goes around and around. So on your mind, you're like, fuck that. Call me an Uber and call me an Uber now. And the Empress in reverse just fell out. So Libra and Taurus energy can't be a court card. Just a lack of expansion and growth. Somebody's not nurturing the connection. It's stuck. And you're just tired. You are. Because the situation is this two of swords, more Libra. Why is the two of swords here in the foundation? What is it and what is it now? It is the nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're just letting go of something, giving up. Nine of wands in reverse for me is the screw it card. Right, because somebody's refusing to open up or there's a blockage. You're ignoring somebody and just giving up. That's in the root here. That's why all of this is happening. The recent past, we have this Queen of Swords. Who's this? Who's this Queen of Swords in the recent past? Well, it's you again, the Queen of Wands. I think a lot of you have Libra in your chart somewhere, but this is, doesn't matter. This is you guys. You're taking up, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. All right, it's energy. You're taking that sword. You're cutting shit out. You're being logistical, and you're just getting your mojo back is what you did. You decided to take some sort of action by cutting something out. Why is this Queen of Wands here in the past? She goes for shit, she or he. Queen of Cups. Look at all these people. Sagittarius, look at all these people. I do feel like this, I feel like more the Queen of Swords is your energy, but I do feel like there was other people muddling here. Queen of Cups, Scorpio Cancer, Pisces energy. Who's this Queen of Cups? Who is it? Justice, Libra. Somebody was married, all right? Also, too, this is you guys using your intuition and just getting balanced. There's a lot of, like, balancing of emotions here on your part, on Sagittarius's part, okay, by cutting something out. Justice is karma, too. Something to do with karma here in the recent past. And, again, it's all due to either a Libran or you guys just blocking something out, giving up. Right, so, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm tired. I kind of feel tired right now, Sagittarius. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The Ace of Swords, Aquarian energy for me. What's this Ace of Swords? It's a breakthrough. The lovers, hello lovers, Gemini. Let's clarify that one more time. A very important decision here, Major Arcana. So big, big shifts in energy. What is it? The Queen, oh my God, could we have any more people showing up? I feel like I'm reading for the sister wives right now. 
I really do. Anybody else want to show up in the reading? Queen of Pentacles, wife, mother, nurturing, very loving, very beautiful energy, right, is the Queen of Pentacles. There's just too many people involved. I, you know, you guys are going to get pissed and thumbs down, and you can do it all you want. But I'm delivering the message, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it for anybody. This is for somebody. Okay, somebody needs, like, reality here. And the reality is, coming into the near future, I feel like you guys are cutting something out. Because that Eight of Swords will slice and dice. Also, it's clarity, and it's a breakthrough on some some sort of, some, I can't speak, some sort of partnership with the lovers. And it's a decision. It's around this Queen of Pentacles. Who is this? Who's the Queen of Pentacles? Well, she's the big fat devil. Could be a Capricorn. Because the Queen of Pentacles is a Capricorn, and so is the devil card. Something toxic. All right, there's some people meddling here that don't well belong. It's kind of like that old, was it Sesame Street? One of those shows? One of these doesn't belong? Well, the devil and the Queen of Pentacles doesn't belong. And I think you know that. Because you see yourself right now as, you didn't call an Uber, you just got on the horse. Knight of Swords, you're moving forward. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and quickly, yeah, and it's because of the Page of Cups, onto something new. The Page of Cups is not just communication and emotion and all this stuff. The Page of Cups is also pursuing a dream, and the Knight of Swords is going for that dream. The Knight of Swords is also in pursuit of something. Sometimes the Knight of Swords is an, an arrival of an unexpected lover. What's this Page of Cups about? What is it? It's the Knight of Wands. It's you. All right. Sorry, it's the Page of Wands. That's you, Sagittarius. All right. You guys are manifesting. You're going towards new things. You've got two pages here. You know, it's like you're getting the hell out of Dodge. I, your energy is not heavy. It's not dark. You're seeing things for how they are, and you're on. You're out. See ya. All right. How do they see? How does this person view you? Well, the King of Swords, cutting shit out. What's this King of Swords? Being very logistical. Ha, ha, and look, there you are. The Knight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarius. That's the Sagittarius card. You're all up in their energy, aren't you? But they, how they view you is cutting it out, and you've lost the passion. This person feels like you have no longer have the oomph towards them. You're putting something to rest. You're not manifesting. You're cutting is how they see you. And with the Two of Wands, you're setting out on a new path. Making, you know, probably a little bit indecisive still, but the two of wands, again, it's not just indecision. The two of wands, how they view you after the ace of wands, you have the two of wands. So now you're on this path. Do I go left? Do I go right? But it's a new path and they, they, they know you're on it. All right. In your emotions, you have the queen of wands. There you are. Sagittarius. What is this queen of wands doing? What is this bad bitch of a queen doing? Well, she's the page of swords investigating right curious uncovering maybe you're checking the expiration date on somebody's milk when they're not home i'm not really feeling it because i don't really feel like sagittarius is stuck here not in this reading page of swords is very curious about a situation a person an energy whatever all right and you guys are making something happen with that queen of wands and the page of swords yep and the Eight of Wands, guess what? That's you, Sagittarius. And you're just moving forward, manifesting. A lot of you guys want to travel as well. All right, you're moving forward and you're allowing these big changes by blocking something or someone out and just giving up on it. That's what I'm getting in this reading. And you're going to reach victory. You're moving forward. A lot of you guys are traveling. Um, 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 the outcome has the world. Another, another travel card for me. But the world is, you could have been dealing with a fixed energy. Maybe Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, whatever. This is reaching your goal. This is closing it out and starting again. What's this world and the outcome? For Sagittarius, it's the Two of Swords. Ending, ignoring, blocking is what I'm getting. What's this Two of Swords and the outcome for Sagittarius? What is this? about yep look at you walking away with the eight of cups leaving some third party shit behind or something that just was not serving you and let me just note the third party shit could have been anybody it could have been a mother-in-law it could have been the family dog it could have been anyone 
But the point of this is you've got your oomph back. You're taking action. You're riding out of town. You're the Knight of Swords. And the outcome is showing you've learned some lessons here. You've reached some goals. You will reach some goals. You're going to put an ending to some cycles here. And you're just doing it by walking away towards your two cups with the eight of cups. Turning your back on something that, well, you might have a little bit of regret, or they do. The Five of Cups doesn't have to just be, oh, we're wallowing and we're missing someone and, oh, I want them back. No, the Five of Cups can actually be, you realize you still have two additional cups. That's why you're doing the Eight of Cups. You're going towards those two additional, which get you to the 10, which is completion, all right? The Five of Cups can often mean, I'm ready. I'm ready to leave this behind. Those cups have spilled. What else is out there for me? Taking control with the emperor, setting boundaries, bossing up, Aries energy, even if he is in a big fat skirt. I don't even care. Look at him. He's a boss. All right. And that's your energy, Sagittarius. It's a good reading. I don't necessarily see new love. For some of you, yes. You might be in pursuit of that. I mean, I do have the page of cups and the page of wands. So maybe. I feel like this is more Sagittarius just like exiting, heading out, going towards new things, manifesting, living life, traveling, doing those sorts of things, you're blocking out something that's just not growing and there's no potential. Somebody may have done you wrong, all right, is what I'm seeing. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Love me hard. Let me know if you know of a water Uber that can save me, all right, and I'm loving you hard back. Take care and we'll speak soon.